Mac Designer Getting Started Using Design Sets. This mechanism uses a conjugate pair of cams to drive the coupler of a four bar mechanism. There are two cam followers mounted on the four bar coupler. The conjugate cam is mounted on a rotating camshaft rotating in the frame and positioned between the cam followers. Ideally we want to make the cams the same radius and also with a minimum radius of about 20 millimeters. A perfect case for a simple design set. A design set provides a single interface for editing a number of dimensions that have been used to design the mechanism. Applying a design set. Applying a design set takes four steps. Step one is to add the design set element to the assembly tree. Adding a design set element to the assembly tree is quite simple. All we need to do is click once the add design set icon at the bottom of the mechanism local toolbar. The design set element immediately appears at the bottom of the mechanism assembly tree. Step 2 is to unlock and add dimension fields to the design set. Editing a design set element is also easy. Navigate to the design set element in the assembly tree, click it once to select it, then right click and select the edit option from the context sensitive menu. The design set dialog will immediately appear. Click the padlock to unlock it and then click the add dimension field icon for each dimension from the mechanism we want to edit using the dialog. It is good practice to relock the design set but before we minimize the dialog we can then edit the dialog easily at any time. At this point it's best to minimize the dialog ready for use later. Step 3 is to assign dimensions to the dimension fields. But here why not give the parts and dimensions contextual names so that we can recognize them in the design set. So here we're going to rename some elements. To rename a part left click it in the graphic area. The part is highlighted in the assembly tree and it also appears in the selection window. Right click the selection and choose rename from the context menu. The rename dialog appears where you can choose a new name. Let's rename the part to coupler. You will see the new name coupler in the assembly tree. Now rename dimensions in the coupler that are used to locate and size the cam followers. Double click the part outline to edit the part. You can then left click each dimension in turn so that it appears in the selection window. Again use the rename dialog to rename the dimensions. Repeat for each dimension. Left click the dimension, right click in the selection window and rename. Rename the dimensions for the diameter of the cam followers also. We have finished renaming the dimensions, so exit the part editor by double clicking on the X axis for example. We can also rename the motion dimension that is used to drive the rocker. Again, select the dimension and rename from the selection window. Now we are ready to assign the renamed dimensions to the dimension fields in the design set. First, restore the design set that we had minimized earlier. Select the top dimension field so that the field turns a light green and then unlock the design set so that you can start selecting the dimensions. The selected dimension appears in the dimension field. Repeat for each dimension we had renamed. The dimension fields are highlighted in sequence as you select the dimensions. 
You can see the new dimension names with their values in the design set. It is important that you now relock the design set dialog using the padlock key. With all the dimensions assigned to the dimension fields, return to the mechanism editor by double clicking on the X axis. Finally, we are ready to edit the dimensions in the design set. Now we've assigned the dimensions to our design set, we find it easy to edit them from the single dialog. We do not need to open the part editor for each dimension and then edit it and then return to the mechanism editor to see the result. Instead, we can quickly explore the dimension values in the design set and we can rapidly see the influence of each dimension. To really fine tune the dimensions, we can look at the radius of the cams using the cam output and graph function blocks. Let's now explore the exact values using the cam and graph function blocks. Other tutorials will explain the details of using these function blocks. Here I will quickly add and set up the required radius of curvature graphs to view the design in more detail. I assign each cam output function block to a cam. You can see I have already renamed the cam tracks to remind me of which one is which. I have renamed them to cam track left and cam track right. Drag a wire from the cam output connectors to the input connectors of the graph function block. We display the graph and using it we can see the exact values of the cam radiuses. We can easily play and fine tune the dimensions using the design set. We can make the radius of curvature of both cams to be about the same and no less than 20 millimeters very quickly. They just invite you to play with your design. By dragging the cursor in the graph we can also view the values of both cams. So in summary design sets allow you to explore your design easily and rapidly.